Okay, we are still having the same issue here. This is doing something, only if I press the button, it's a defined state. If I release the button, it's not defined, something is happening. Yeah? If I pull this out, set it to exactly minus, it's off, like we expect. Yeah? So that's the, that's the issue here. That's the, that's the thing. Um, the, we could use a different type of switch. Yeah? We could use a, a switch which is not switching between nothing, like now, or 5 volt or nothing. Uh, we could use a switch which is, which is switching between 5 volt and 0 volt. We don't have such a switch. But I show you now something. If I pull plug in here uh, cable, another cable, I pull this out. Yeah? This is in the this is now in the air. Yeah? This is doing something. And if I just touch those two things, my body is enough that if I release yeah. It's already doing something, but my body is enough that I define the value of voltage on this line. Yeah. So I could plug it in here. I use another cable. Yeah. And if I now touch both cables, I'm pulling this line here to zero volts and if I touch if I press the button it's working yeah? now I have 5 volt if I release it zero if I press 5 yeah? I'm using my body to pull down this line to zero volt if the button is not pressed yeah? and the 5 volt I don't even feel anything my my body is, is withstands the electricity good enough that this 5 volt or 5 volt 5 volt are not that dangerous okay so this is how it should work actually however if I let it loose it's still the same thing so instead of my body yeah, you could also use you could also use uh, these things here resistor yeah but we will not use this we will use this 100k 100k resistor high high value because my body is also not that that low on resistance uh, so i will use a resistor to plug between the cable and ground and now this resistor is pulling down this line to zero volt. If I press the button, the resistor is big enough that the five volts are still there. Yeah. If I release the button, this is how it should work. Yeah. Now, now what is happening is that this resistor is defining the potential, the voltage level of this line in case I don't press. If I press, the resistor is big enough I mean, 100,000 ohms, 1K, yeah. Uh, uh, 1,000, 100K, 100,000 ohms is big enough that it's not disturbing. Yeah. Release it. This is. And because this resistor is pulling the voltage down to zero volt, this thing here is called a pull down resistor. Yeah. Pull down resistor. We could do it another way. Yeah. I remove this here now. Pick. I will take a blue one for better indication. Even if electricity does not see color, however, I will pull this now. Put this in here now at ground level, and I change the resistor not from to five volt, uh, not to zero volts, but I change it to five volt. So now this resistor is 
pulling this line to 5 volt and if I press the button I bring it nothing happens somewhere okay if I put the push the button I bring it down to 0 volt you have seen this may happen then you wiggle around a little bit yeah that's the disadvantage of these breadboards yeah. again press the button zero volt release the button this thing is pulling it to 5 volt because it's pulling up to 5 volt this thing is called pull up resistor yeah and of course now if we don't press the button we have here 5 volts so we are in reading true and because we are reading true we're giving out a signal to turn on the led so it's now working exactly vice versa like before why i'm telling you this why am i telling you this because i mean the program is still the same the program is still as before however our arduino our little little arduino here does have such pull resistors already built in yeah however it's just a pull-up resistor, not a pull-down resistor. This is why I showed you the pull-up resistor also as physical element. Yeah? If I change here this definition from input to input pull-up, yeah? and now download it, yeah? then this internal pull-up resistor is in place. It now works exactly as before. Yeah. Reliable. And now I can even remove this resistor and it's still working. The only issue right now is that it's working the other way around. So you have to press the button that it's out. I have to release the button that it's on. But with this simple line here, input pull up, yeah, we activated this pull up resistor and suddenly the input is working properly. Yeah. Your task, your task is that you now uh, change, change uh, the program in a way that this is working also. Maybe some of you noticed I have here I made here a little bit change in the program before it was written like this button state equals one that's not really necessary because in C++ you know every every value not equal to zero is taken as true and every value not writ not uh, uh, which is zero is taken as false so it's enough if I just ask if button state because if it's one, so not zero, it's true. And if it's zero, so nothing is reading, then it's false. Yeah, so it's shorter. Would be okay. Okay. So that should be sufficient. Uh, like I said, your task now is that it works like before. Press the button, light, no button, no light. Use the pull-up resistor of the Arduino that it's working reliable. This is how it should work. Press the button, light, release the button, no light, internal pull-up resistor in place, no external resistor, working reliable. Good luck with this. Thanks for your attention.